Hello, Taurus. Let's talk about September and what this month can mean for you. First, we're starting the month off with a new moon in Virgo. This new moon falls in your fifth house, which is all about children, pleasure, romance, and what brings you joy. Now, you're going to be making it your job to do more of what makes you happy with this new moon energy. And you are literally going to be treating it as if it were your job. So I want you to embrace this. This might be a time where you decide to get back in the dating game. If you've opted out of that for a while, this could be a time where you're really seeing exciting new developments for one or more of your children. And of course, apply that appropriate to their age. It's kind of like a responsibility opportunity since this new moon is opposite Saturn, but I do believe it's very positive. And you may also be very organized, efficient, and productive in a creative project that you begin after this new moon. So do it. Now, Mars enters Cancer on September 4th, and that puts Mars in your third house, which is communication. You're going to have an amazing energy for sales, marketing, all communications projects. You are going to find your voice with this Mars transit because you will have the courage, Taurus, to speak your truth, to speak up for yourself, even if it is a little bit emotional. The emotionality of your conversations and your tone is because Mars is traveling through cancer now, but that's going to work pretty well for you. So I'm not too concerned about that. It is a time where actually I think people are going to be receptive to what you have to say because you are showing an emotional connection and investment in the material and you're not just saying it for no reason. So that is going to work for you. This could also be a time where you're doing more local traveling and there's just a bit more chaos there. So that is a possibility as well with your busy bee schedule in uh, September while Mars is in Cancer. Lunar eclipse. It's eclipse season, September into October, and we are having a lunar eclipse in Pisces on September 17th. This eclipse falls in your 11th house, and it could bring a situation for a friend. This doesn't have to be about you, Taurus. It is falling in your 11th house. So while it's true that it might be about your relationship with a friend, it could actually just be about your friend. And there may be disappointing or confusing news around this friend's life. Perhaps he or she might be in a bit of a crisis or be suffering some kind of a loss. The eclipse is conjunct Neptune and it is square Jupiter. So it's, it's enhancing the awareness of confusion, of something slipping through your fingers. And again, it may be that a friendship slips through your fingers, but it is equally possible that we're looking at just a crisis that you're going to witness in a friend's life. And if that's the case, you will be there, of course, to lend support to that friend. Moving on, Venus, your ruling planet, is going to move into your seventh house on September 22nd. This is interesting, especially if you're single, because that new moon on September 2nd is opening the door for romance and opportunities to date. And then Venus goes into your seventh house saying, hey, Taurus, guess what? There's relationship harmony here. So you might actually meet someone and start dating them exclusively and find that it develops in a pretty straightforward way. It does look promising. If you're already in a relationship, Venus here is going to add to the harmony between you and your partner. It can be very lucrative if you're in a business where you see clients or if you have a business partner because Venus here is amplifying the value here that clients are seeing in you. And when people see the value in you, of course, they're going to pay for that. So it actually is a really positive transit to enjoy, whether you're single, attached, whether this is applied to business or all three. So enjoy that energy, Taurus. Let me know in the comments how your month unfolds. And these are the highlights for the month of September. Happy September, and I will see you soon. Bye.